Hey Hoopers, this is a tutorial for hand spins, which I've been wanting to do for a really long time and just haven't got around to. So when it comes to hand spins, um, there's a lot of ways that, there's a lot of different variations on them and from easy to really difficult and there's a lot of ways that you can easily incorporate them to use as transitions for like vertical to horizontal or um, you know, transitions into other moves or whatever. And um, one thing I would say that um, would probably help, or at least if you know how to do the helicopter, where the hoop spins around behind you like this, you already definitely have some knowledge of hand spinning, so it's probably going to be a lot easier for you. But if you don't, that's fine. Um, you know, this will probably be still easy to learn. <laughs> okay, so... Um, the first hand spin that I'm going to teach is really basic. Um, I'll teach, I'm going to teach two different ways. One is just turning your hand all the way around like this. And the other one is when it actually, oh, when it actually spins around your hand. There you go. And you can do um, both directions, so that would probably be... I'll teach, I'll teach both ways. So, um, basically, the, I'm going to turn this this way, see? So, um, the easiest way to learn that kind of hand spin, I believe, is to start with the hoop down here. It's in my right hand, and my grip is over the top like this. I'm scooping down, my right arm crosses my body, and I come up. Here, so when I get above my head, like this, I'm, and my wrist is facing inwards, I'm going to turn my hand all the way around till um, the back of my wrist is facing out, and then I'm going to continue my scoop because you'll realize that <laughs> you'll realize that. Um, once you get to here and you turn your wrist all the way 365 degrees, you're back to where you were down here. So just practice this. You can also do the other way. So I'll just stall this here, come up, go the other way, and come back down. So that's a pretty easy hand spin, and that can be incorporated a ton of ways. It doesn't have to be done, um, you know, just over your head. It can be. You know, up here or like this. That's generally something that I like to do is um, start with it over here, just like if you're going to do this. Start over here, I'll like spin it around or do it the other way like this and come back into a isolation. So, wait, no. Yeah, okay. So start over here. My The back of my hand's facing out. I'm going to turn it just in like this so that the outside of my wrist is pointing outwards and then I bring it into an isolation. You can also do that, that's called folding, but that'll be another tutorial. So now to get into hand spins that are holding around your hand. So um, from that easy stuff you kind of should get a feel for how your arm has the type of um, strength that it takes in your forearm to really spin it. So this is kind of um, no different. Basically, the easiest way to learn this is to start down here so you don't have to fight gravity and have my hand on top of the hoop. And you just want to practice turning your wrist as far as possible. And then, so right now, I have my inside of my wrist pointing out and I'm turning to the left. And then once I can't do it anymore, I open my hand, it rolls like this, and grabs and turns again. So slow motion is kind of like this. Almost in the way that you turn your hand when you do an isolation. I'm just turning my wrist, letting the hoop roll across the back of my hand, grabbing it and guiding it with my fingers on the inside. So inside, roll on the outside. Bring it in and roll it out. So just Get really comfortable with this because this is the basic um, feel that it's going to have. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> so.
So anyway, your next step would be to try to give it a little bit more momentum. What is tricky is learning when to stop. So when I was first learning this, I was having a difficult time because I would let it go around way too many times, or it wasn't enough, or whatever. So it does take a little bit of a feel to like figure out um, you know, how many times it goes around and what it feels like. But the best advice I can give is to um, hold it like this, turn your arm as far as possible, and you have to build some momentum. So really, when you're turning your hand, like you're holding the hoop like this and you're turning, you really have to give some force to turn it and get it so that there's enough momentum for it to travel on the back of your hand. So my hand is generally holding it, I give it a good turn, I open my hand up so it travels around the back and I grab it again. Like this, so my hand goes like that. Which looks kind of weird. It's going like that. <laughs> and it's really important to really like open your hand up because it gives it more space for it to travel around. So I would say after that, once you're comfortable with Basically, it's a little bit faster than this. It doesn't matter how sloppy it is. You just really need to get that momentum and feeling down. I would say move up more and more off the ground just to get more comfortable and see you know, if you can keep doing this. So my hand's turning to the left and it's rolling over, or my hoop's going to the left, just like this. So then once that's pretty comfortable, you can start up here more fun it this way. And now I just want to do this. <laughs> um, yeah, this, as you'll see soon, this really works to transition into other things. You can also obviously do this um, the other way. I'm just not very good at it. I do a group going to the right. I like doing it to the left better. But yeah, I would say for if you want to practice going the other way, start down here, like I was saying before. And generally with this, I'll start kind of this way, and then my hand's turning this way, and my hand goes like this and grabs. And the other way from this angle looks like this. And then so you know, practice that with both hands if you can. If not, I'll just take some time, that's fine. Um, yeah, so anyway, ways to incorporate this into different things. Um, I do this quite often, and we'll go into a toss, or um, also, like I said before, works to do that and then go into an isolation or an isopop. That's something that I play with a lot. Um, you can also, I also do it a lot when I'm doing double hoops, so it could be going and then I'll flip this one and come back in. Um, so yeah, just play with it and see what you can do. Another way to, um, I guess I mentioned earlier was transitioning vertical to horizontal with this, so could be going horizontally, flip it, and then come like this. I don't know if that was, you can see that. Or vertical, flip it, and then catch it. You can probably see that, right? So vertical, and then grab it, and just keep it horizontal. And do that. Oh, there's another one I forgot. Okay. Um, so this one here can also be done horizontally. So. I guess just as this is horizontal, I mean vertical, and then this is kind of horizontal. But anyway, um, essentially it's that sweeping motion that you have that you go like that with. It's just going to be around the back. So take it around here. When your hand gets, your right hand is about above your left shoulder, you're turning the hoop to the left and it comes straight behind you, and then you turn here. So it's kind of that quick wrist motion here. So basically you're turning your wrist all the way around so that when it's in front of you, the top of it is facing the ceiling, 
and what's behind you, the back of, or the inside of your wrist is facing up. So that's how that move is done. So anyway, hopefully that helps you guys and um, I don't know, it's something that you can incorporate into your flow.